Hey guys, Will here, and today I want to talk about time walking. So what is time walking? Well, this is a feature that Blizzard has wanted to add for a long time. There's a lot of player demand for it. Basically, it's the ability to scale dungeons. So WoW has a ton of older content that is basically unused. We have tons of five mans from older expansions, all the way back to vanilla where they had a ton of level up dungeons, and really, nobody does them except while leveling up. And they have seen some use at Endgame with the advent of Transmog, but a lot of people really want to experience these dungeons. Say, Shattered Halls, right? Wouldn't it be awesome to go back there and do it as it was at level? Now, I'm sure a lot of us had have done them at level, but it's been a long time and it would be a nice nostalgia trip to be able to actually do it and have it be reasonably difficult again, instead of just, you know, going in and one-shotting every mob. Now, this feature has kind of been data mined already. It was on the PTR as early as 5.4 in kind of a roundabout secret way. It wasn't really added, but you could find it. It's also rumored to have been the big feature that Ghostcrawler talked about, which apparently it was kind of scrapped, and so he kind of changed his mind and said, oh, well, there's a lot of features in 5.4 that you might like. But uh, a long time ago, he mentioned that there was a feature coming in 5.4 that was unannounced that he was really excited for, and a lot of people think it was the scaling dungeons that would have fit with some of the other things he said, as well as Tom Shilton saying, well, we want to do things with older content, people really want to play things with older content again, and it really would have fit. Then people were thinking that it would be an expansion feature, right, in Warlords of Draenor, that thought it would be announced, but it wasn't, and, uh, it appears that it, it might come in the expansion at some point, you know, some developers have been talking about how it's something they want to do, as are many things, but it definitely won't be in a launch. Really, they already have the scaling technology in the game. They have the ability to scale the player up or down with a variety of methods, as you can see with the Proving Grounds and Challenge Modes, and on the PTR, whenever they're doing raid testing, they make sure to scale the players up or down depending on their item levels, so it's appropriate. Now what I'm wondering is, depending on the difficulty they want to have for these dungeons, and it's mainly dungeons, not raids, because raids would require a lot more tuning, how are they going to scale the players? Are they going to scale the player down, or are they going to scale the raid up? Usually when they've talked about it, it's been scaling the player down by reducing their item level. But if you just scale the player down, how is that going to work with the number of abilities? Because a lot of these old dungeons were made in a time when players didn't have a certain number of abilities uh, that we have now, or, you know, they were made with various stats in mind, like, there's tons of stats and things that have been removed since these, uh, since these engines were added. You know, back in the day we had stats like weapon skill, right, or things like defense rating for tanks, or bonus armor, which is coming back. But there was a lot of things that didn't exist back in the day, like, you know, the five second rule for mana. There's tons of little mechanics that might have played a role on certain fights, I don't know if any of those would have, but there's tons of little things that would have played a role on fights, and now, things are very, very different from how they were then. So just scaling the player down, it means that we're likely going to be more powerful than we were at level. So, like right now, if you take a level 70 now and compare them to a level 70 in Burning Crusade, the level 70 now is going to have, well, one, a different set of abilities, but in general, will also be considerably more powerful. That's why it doesn't take 10 level 70s to go do Karazhan now, you can do it with like 5. It no longer takes 40 level 60s to do Molten Core, you can do it with considerably less now because our relative power levels have gone up considerably per level. So what this means is it really depends on how they want to scale them. If they scale the player down, then yeah, we'll be more powerful and it might be, end up being easier, but if they scale us down below the item level it was originally intended for, then they can make it uh, relatively difficult. You know, it, it really depends on how they want to tune it, how hard should these things be, and really that's come up a lot. So they say that they already can do this system, they just need a reward structure, and I think that the rewards would definitely play a role in determining what sort of difficulty we would face doing this. So what rewards should they do, really? I mean, there's a lot of ideas. Some people think they should give current content gear, other people think just some sort of points, others think cosmetic items. I tend to veer towards the cosmetic or vanity item side. These are older content pieces, like these are things that people did a long time ago, or they look outdated compared to newer stuff, they're not quite as well designed, or maybe some people think they are better designed, but they're definitely not up to current design standards. And so, forcing players to run them, forcing, <laughs> if they rewarded, you know, current content, the people would feel like they had to do it. So, it makes sense to kind of restrict them towards a different audience, right? It veer them towards people who really like doing these things, who like older content, instead of making them mandatory for all players who like progression. So with that in mind, I would say, one, obviously, achievements, right? Achievements for every dungeon, like a Time Walker, for Utgard Pinnacle, something like that. Just an achievement, kind of like we have the Heroic Dungeon achievement for every dungeon. Just do that sort of thing. 
and maybe even special new achievements too, like maybe add a one achievement for every dungeon, and then have like a Time Walker Dungeon Hero sort of deal, um, like they have with all the various dungeons, like the Pandaria Hero, or the Cataclysm Dungeon Hero, things like that. I think that would be really cool. And as for what mount it could give, well, my idea is obviously the Infinite Drake mount, which people have wanted for a long time, and really should have dropped off Mirazond in end time, but they really need to add the Infinite Drake mount. People really want that. As far as Drake mounts go, the ones people want still are the Green Drake mount, which, no idea why that isn't in the game yet, and the Infinite Drake mount, which looks really awesome. And I think they could also use some sort of point system that would reward like vanity, cosmetic rewards off of a vendor. Uh, what would you call the points? I don't know, legacy points? Something like that. Doesn't really matter what it is, but it would work very similar to how justice points work today. I would say they could reward Valor, but it seems like Valor is being removed and that wouldn't really make sense to add a currency that's not going to have much purpose. So I would say have them have their own currency and what would you buy with them? Well, there's lots of unused models or color schemes for weapons or things like that that's already in the data files but were never used. So put those on a vendor, make these items available, and players will go out and buy them. Even if the skins are relatively old, like there's tons of models from like Wrath of the Lich King that were never implemented in game, why not make this available for transmog? I know a lot of people would want to buy them. Of course, you know, various mounts, they would probably have to make a few mounts and a few pets, which would take art resources, um, and maybe some transform items like, oh, this turns you into a draconid. I don't know, they don't really need a lot of incentive, but something like that. I think, you know, achievements, a couple mounts, a few pets, and a ton of, like, gear transmog options would be really cool and would give it some sort of longevity. Also, maybe, like, a Time Walker title for doing all of them, something like that. And that would make people really invested in it, at least for a while. I think the system really needs some long-term use. It needs a longevity, you know? If the rewards became obsolete, it would feel weird to spend all this time implementing this huge feature, and so I, I think that current content gear would kind of be a no-no, because that content is... it becomes obsolete rather quickly. If you look at current dungeons in Pandaria, they became obsolete almost immediately, because their gear wasn't very good. And even, you know, running them can be kind of fun, well, not Pandaria dungeons, but running dungeons can be kind of fun, they become obsolete. So I think if you're going to have a system like this, you don't want it to become irrelevant quickly. You want it to have long-term longevity. And really, what lasts in this game? What do people still go back and do? They go back and do transmog stuff on older content. They go back for mount runs and pets. So things like that, I think, actually keep people interested for a long period of time. Now, how would you access these dungeons? Would it be like a drop-down menu? You need a pre-made group? Can you queue for them? I think that they should be queuable, but in a, like a separate interface, because they have a totally different reward structure than regular dungeons. I think that you should be able to like queue for random Time Walker dungeon, but it shouldn't be in the same like random heroic queue, it should be like separate. And as for difficulty, I think that I personally would like them to be similar to heroics, um, which is, you know, definitely harder than normal dungeons. I think that I think that it would be hard to tune them perfectly, but I think that tuning them to be slightly challenging would make them more fun overall. I've seen some people have a desire to make these available for challenge modes, you know, add them to the current challenge mode season or whatever like that, and I don't really agree. I think that there's already a perception with challenge modes that they're just a rehash, they're just doing the same thing with a timer, and this would definitely not help that uh, perception of them. And really, challenge modes are kind of their own thing, I think they should be pretty much current content only. It would add a lot more dungeons to do for it, but I don't know, I think it would be very hard to tune them effectively because already it's going to be hard to tune them to an appropriate difficulty, but they'd have to spend a lot of time tuning these older dungeons, and that's time that could be spent on tuning newer things. And so overall, I don't think adding them to the challenge mode rotation is a good idea. I, I think that making them separate is probably the best option overall. Now, I mentioned raids earlier, and I think that one of those things that people really want to see from the system is the ability to do old raids. I mean, come on, wouldn't it be amazing to do Old War or Black Temple again? I think that would be amazing if done at the appropriate difficulty level and if they could tune the rewards appropriately. But really, it seems very difficult to do dungeons alone, so I think we'll have to wait a while before they do raids. I think we'll see the dungeons added probably towards the end of World's Draenor. I think we actually will see this system added in some form, probably in like patch 6.4, and the next expansion we might see something to do with raids, but I think that we'll probably get the Time Walker system at some point in Warlords. I think it's been long enough, I think people have wanted it. We won't get it at launch, but I do think that, you know, they keep bringing it up a little bit, they don't talk about it much, but I think it is a system we will see. It would be an awesome feature, and I'm really excited to see it eventually. 
But anyway, that's all for me for now. If you enjoyed the video or found it informative, uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.